Wild Water and now it's in tune. It's going out on Wednesday, it's gonna get tuned again, but it was very flat in the last video and terribly out of tune, so sounds... One of the things I love about Wild Water is obviously the sound. We're playing instruments, we're not playing engines, we're playing instruments, so the soul of the piano is lovely, just mellow, mellow, rich. This model was a nice cabinet, some black, satin black, which is always nice. And um, the other features that are really nice about this piano, the strings in the bass uh, are longer than normal. So usually they put the strings together on a piano and the length of each bass string when there's two is slightly different to each other. So in this case, uh, the photo and piano technician, Stephen Ross showed me that the strings on the bottom They've been notched. They've been notched out when they made the bridge. They put notches in it to make the strings the same length as each other on the on the by cords. But up here, they've also put a special type of um, similar to an agraf on the bass strings, which is really nice. Another feature that's really nice is it has a scissor, scissor system foreboard, but which is usually a pain for technicians, but they made it so simple to remove. You just pop out the full board on both sides. And then the full boards come off. Bob's your uncle, Bob is my uncle, literally. Anyway, but Bob's your uncle, often just two pops. And um, another thing that's really nice about it, apart from the fact that they've crafted the tone really well, but the pedals don't connect like a traditional new piano. In the, in the past, that was more common than it is today, but um, the, the pedals just rest on top of the action, so you don't have to reconnect or disconnect, that's it. Action in, action out. When you're working on pianos, those small differences make a lot of difference in time. If you pull out an action, put it back in after you fix one note, then you have to reconnect all the pedals, the rubbers, everything. That takes about two, three minutes to get your back under the floor. Sometimes you don't, you can do it on top. In this one, in, out, in, out. Really good for repairs. Very well thought out. Good thinking. Um, apart from that, it's just a really nice piano to work on. Really good tone. Good, good end result as a piano technician. This is very much comparable or in some ways superior to some Asian pianos that are very popular, like the U1. I would put it, I would put it in a really high position in my view of upright pianos. It's like one of the best that I've tuned here in America. Thanks for watching this video. Happy New Year. We haven't done a video for a while. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.